Welcome to Hard Talk. I'm Stephen Sacker. To mark the one-year anniversary of Catalonia's hugely controversial independence referendum, more than 150,000 Catalans took to the streets of Barcelona. Some blocked roads and rail lines, and they scuffled with police. It was a howl of frustration from people whose dream has been thwarted. Well, my guest today is Ernest Maragall, self-styled Minister of Foreign Action in the Catalan Regional Government. Was the separatists' decision to go for broke a year ago a major strategic error? Ernest Maragall, welcome to Hard Talk. Thank you. Here we are, one year on from that referendum, which you separatists claim gave you a mandate for independence, but which, of course, the Madrid government declared completely illegal. And many people believe that right now your movement has lost momentum and has no clear strategy. That's a that's, uh, legitimate uh, th thought, this one, but uh, I think that the things are slightly different. Huh? You are, we are finding our new, our new uh, path. No? We are building it, uh, this new path, because, uh, well, we have had this after the October uh, facts in last year. Uh, we have had, uh, how to say, how do you say, uh, a black year. <laughs> in terms, We've had a black year. And, uh, uh, in terms of, of repression and injustice, uh, we have suffered. Uh, we are still suffering this uh, situation of high pressure coming from the Spanish state. I'm focused really on what seems to be a lack of direction inside the separatist movement. For example, you brought out huge crowds onto the streets of Barcelona and yeah. other cities to mark yes. the mm -hmm. one-year anniversary of that referendum that you held, yeah. but there were clear divisions within the crowd. There were some people within that crowd who wanted direct action, who wore hoods, who undertook violent acts well, against is... train tracks, yes, against yes, roads. Yeah. How do you feel about those people? Well, I, I don't like these attitudes. No? We don't share it. No? Uh, our strategy is based on three clear elements. No? Maintain dialogue and peaceful behaviour forever. Well, I'm going to stop you there. Before we get to numbers Dialogue. two and three, let's get to peaceful behaviour, because your Catalan regional president, Kim Torra, he praised those who blocked the roads and the train tracks and tried no, to enter the Catalan parliament. He said, no, let me no, finish, no. he said, <laughs> I urge them to keep up the pressure. To keep up the pressure doesn't mean violence, doesn't mean, doesn't mean entering the parliament, of course. But he was talking he about was, people he who was attempted talking to about, enter he was the talking about the, the need for us to maintain uh, a positive pressure uh, uh, over the Spanish uh, government. No? The, the, but, the, the, uh, the truth is, Mr. Maragall, you're split, because it's interesting that the exiled former president of the region, Carlos Puigdemont, he reflected on what he'd seen on the streets just a few weeks ago, the violence, and he said, if these people use violence, they aren't true 1st of October people, because when we acted a year ago, we did it with our faces uncovered and in a peaceful way. That is the only way yes, to overcome. Yes, as, as I was uh, trying to say, yes, exactly. It is the only way to, to act, to, to behave, is this one. Huh? It's, it's, it's why it's our first element in, in, the, in our strategy now for the for the present period, for this new and different period. But the truth is but, there are these committees for the defence of the Republic set up by young were, Catalan yes. activists. For example, one, one of them was seen just a, a few weeks ago to put up an effigy of a policeman hung from a street lamp in Barcelona. Now, when you see those sorts of images with the words written, leave none of them alive... How do you feel about these activists who are on your side? I, I feel absolutely against these attitudes. I, but I am sure that these attitudes are not giving character to the, to the process and to our movement. They are very, 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 very small, very marginal. 
very marginal sectors. And the, the, we cannot accept that this is the, the present definition of the Republican project, because it's, 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 it's yesterday we had a demonstration in, in Plaza Catalunya in Barcelona, because it was the first anniversary of the, in, putting in jail of our two civic leaders. It was, again, once more, Pacific, uh, songs and chants. There is an impasse. But you, there is, uh, you are losing control of some elements on the separatist side. I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. I think that, the, the, in any case, it's clear that we need to clarify and to express our new strategy in order to uh, send a message to our, to all citizens, including these radicals, perhaps uh, comprehensive reactions. To, to know where, where we are, what do we, what do we want for the next period, for the, which is our goals. The now, is, now our goals are three clear mm, goals. But three, you've, you've already laid out dialogue, so yeah? let's hear the other two quickly. What are the other two goals? No, no, the, I was talking about not goals, about uh, attitudes, mm. about the strategy. You know? And then um, I think that the other one is um, widening our support. And the third one is to be present in Europe and international institutions to be understood. Eh? Well, in, the, in, the, in the goals... We'll, we'll, we'll get through all of them, yes. but there are some specific issues before we do that I want to put to you. One is about the prisoners. There are nine uh, high-profile political prisoners right now. Uh, they are... Seven others in exile, yes. Yeah, you, Mr. Puigdemont's in exile, but yeah. these nine, including yeah. figures like Mr. Conqueras, who exactly. was his deputy, there they sit in prison and they are accused of very serious crimes by the Spanish government, sedition, rebellion, etc. Now, you have said that you want the government in Madrid to intervene in their cases to release these people. Surely the message of your movement from the very beginning is that the Spanish courts have been politicized in the past and must not be politicized in the future. So why are you calling for the government to influence the independent judiciary? No, I have, I have that the Spanish government has uh, a lot of tools and, and rules and rights to, to intervene in a sense, not, not just giving instructions to, to, a, to a prosecutor for a one personal case or individual or a group case. There was a very recent appeal on the basis of the families saying that this was intolerable and unreasonable distress being imposed on the prisoners and yes. their families. The Supreme Court threw it out. I mean, that, that's the process of law. The Supreme no, Court in no, Spain yes, is in. Yes. Independent. It should be independent. At this moment, we, we could say that it is much more than independent. It's a real political power by itself. And they have their own ideology and they have decided to apply to appropriate constitution. They have developed it in, in our own uh, interpretation of constitutional in Spain, the 78 constitution that we all approve it. And they have put it the concept of sacred territorial unity above the rule of law, above the, all the, uh, above the democratic will of a people, of this, Catalan society. This, these, uh, it's, it's not, they have no right to this. Then well, if you take that position, you question the independence of the courts uh, in the Spanish system. But not in the sense that they are obeying the, the Spanish government. They are, uh, they are acting on, his own, on its own um, uh, purpose and its own design. Of, well, if that's your view, I'd ask you this. How, if you can't control that, the hotheads now, how are you going to control them when nine yes. of your political leadership mm -hmm. are actually on trial. This, I think you were right before. We need, and it's what we are trying to, to, to build, we need to express our common united strategy at this moment before the judgment arrives. Mm. It, it could be, it will be very different if we are, we are able to, to build this strategy, to express it, to, uh, to explain it to, to citizenship. And then arrive at this moment, this difficult moment, we will have uh, a clear um, possibility of managing the situation, of acting as real responsibles for the right. re uh, social and political institutional reaction. We w it, it will be necessary to have a reaction. Well, we'll see, if that, it's very we'll see important. if that happens. Let, let me ask you something yes. else, which is deeply political. Seems to me, last year, one year ago, you were in a direct confrontation with the Madrid yeah. government, and that the head of that Madrid government was Mr. Rajoy, and a, a, a PP, a popular party, mm -hmm. which clearly was absolutely 
intent upon uh, confrontation yeah, with yeah. your objectives. Exactly. So there was a clash, a direct clash between the two. Things are different now. There is a socialist government led by Pedro Sanchez mm -hmm. in Madrid. Mm -hmm. They have tried to reach out to you. They've sent a message saying, look, we're interested in a dialogue. We're interested in offering more autonomy, a better financial package. We'd like to sit down and talk. You, yourself, are a socialist, just as Mr. Pedro Sanchez yeah, yeah. is a socialist. You're in a very different, different political context now, so yeah, why don't yeah. you take advantage of that and actually talk? Two things to take into account. Sanchez is governing thanks to our votes. You put them in power, in a way. Yes. The nationalist, nationalist votes in the Spanish this, parliament this, put them this, in this, power. But does that then, give you the right to... Has, bla hang on. Yes. Does that give you the right but to blackmail not, yes. Mr Sanchez? Because you have no, said to him, me. your leader, Mr Torra, has said to Mr Sanchez, unless you commit to giving us an independence referendum, yeah. within one month, we well, will withdraw our support from your government. That's blackmail. I think it's the expression of urgency. You have to understand that we are living with our prisoners in jail, with our um, leaders in, in, in exile also, and with uh, natural um, anger from in, coming from our society. They, they are urging us né, to take decisions, to, to go on, to, to, to proclaim republic already without uh, waiting for anything. We are expressing in, in, uh, in a claim for urgency, for answer, for real answer, because the Spanish socialist government has not given us any answer. But my point, you, is, my you, point is this, and I interviewed... There is, there is no real dialogue offer still well, by the moment. Well, that's not the way it was put to me by the Spanish foreign minister, Josep Borrell, just a, a few weeks ago. I interviewed <laughs> yes. him. He said, first of all, we, we are committed to dialogue, but he also said, we have changed the narrative. The Spanish people, including the people of Catalonia, now see there is a government in place that is not unreasonable, that is trying to find a new path, and if you, in Catalonia, yeah, continue yeah. to reject a meaningful dialogue, the blame yeah. will be with you, not with Madrid. It's what they are trying to, uh, to establish is, is, a, is a common topic, except in all over Europe, is that, that that's for the Minister Borrell. But the things are, are very different. Let me go back to this, our goals. Our, go our goals is, are freedom for our prisoners, democracy in the sense of uh, reaching an agreement uh, about how to express our right to decide our, f our future, and, and, and respect our institutions at the present moment, eh? the possibility of, of really um, doing a, a, an executive and useful government action. Then these three goals, freedom, democracy, govern, are not uh, still uh, on the table coming from uh, any message from the, uh, that comes from the Spanish uh, social Well, if you government. believe Because they are talking about... Yes, uh, a new one, but uh, for us, hearing a socialist uh, responsible uh, talking about a new institute, autonomy institute, mm. is just coming back 10 years ago. It's, well, it's not adding nothing new, it's not really answering so our, our, our uh, claim. Are you prepared to bring down this government? I think we, we, it's not our purpose to bring down this government. But are you prepared it, to do it? And to prepared, let, prepared, and to we have to be always, in politics, one has to be always prepared to take decisions. Because in, you in know that if you do that... If then... you are, yes, but because if I assure you now that we will never do it, then I... <laughs> I am, I am just renouncing to any possibility of having a real negotiation and the and, and, if, the, and the and you know if you, nobody hang on, hang on, let me ask this question. You know if you bring down the socialist government, according to the opinion polls, there is a very high chance, if there's a snap election, that the next government yes, in Spain this will we, be absolutely yeah. opposed to any sort of that's, meaningful that's, dialogue. That's with... the reason why we are not interested in, in bringing down this government. We are not, it's not our will, it's not our just... Our, uh, this, uh, our last word on it. We, are, we will do all the possible to reach an agreement with the Spanish... The thing is, you've, you, you've, you've boxed yourselves, we have, you've boxed we yourselves can... into a corner, that's the truth. And, and, and when you say to me, our, our yes. desire right now is to broaden our support, the fundamental problem that you have as separatists in Catalonia yeah. is that despite 
all of the efforts you've made and last year's dramatic independence referendum that you held, the, the, the opinion polls are absolutely clear. You do not command an overwhelming majority of the people of Catalonia on your side. Look at the December election result, which was very close. Look at the opinion polls today, which show that 46% of Catalans favour independence, almost 45% oppose it. This is a region completely divided. You don't have the momentum divided, which would, would take your movement toward independence. Because, um, well, any case, we have won the last four uh, opportunities to express our will in terms of votes. Eh? In uh, 2014, with a popular consultation. But, but, but my point is not two, that you can't. My point is that you. It's not that you can't win elections. But it's the words. No, these it's, are the words of an historian, yes, Elizabeth Vivi Sanchez. I understand. I understand. She says yeah. some of us believe that despite the fact uh, a victory in a referendum might be valid and legitimate with a win of simply 51 yes, percent, the truth is, in terms of secession from Spain, you need a much wider majority than that, and you can't win that wider majority. Why we can't? That's, that's, that's our goal. I said it before. It's, it's part of our goals. Is exactly this one. We are conscious of these circumstances. We know that uh, uh, until we reach to overcome the 50 percent at least of the, of the Catalan society in favor of our, of our project, it, we will have no right to uh, to claim for international uh, support, etc. It's our, it's our duty, it's our task. It's why we need time, it's why we need stability, it's why we need executive government, stable, uh, sure, uh, credible. But, I, I, I uh, see what you're saying. You need time, you need to show in the Catalan region that you have a stable government that is good for the people. Another of your problems... We problem, have to gain this support. This yes, way. you do. But the, <laughs> the problem is the people of Catalonia right now have real economic fears connected with the uncertainty but that you account, guys have stirred up. For taking example, account that... Uh, uh, just uh, I don't know six seven years ago, this kind of proposal, independence republic for, for a new Catalan state, would uh, receive would have received no no more than twenty percent. Then we have get we have uh, already made a great uh, lap, a great uh, mm. um, uh, forward uh, advance from twenty to almost fifty. Eh? Then it's it's it's, uh, it's it's not a fixed, stable, closed uh, situation. But, the, but, but you, there is, you, there is another another, let me, another element. Uh, the the block for the for republic is is different because it's diverse. We have left, centre right, centre left, etc. And radicals. Yes, but the separatist but, movement is a broad one. In, yeah. there is, but there is still a project, a common a common purpose, a common view of future. In the other side, in the other. 50% to say there is no project, there is no alternative. They have not, they have not offered nothing except to be against. But one thing they then have on their well, hang on, let me let me ask a question. One thing they have on their side, that is the Catalan opponents of separation and independence, is evidence that business in Catalonia does not want to continue with this separatist. Uh, political project. For example, 3,000 companies shifted their official headquarters out of Catalonia as a result of the uncertainty stirred up by that but, referendum of yours. But, Look at some of the biggest banks like Caixa Bank and Bank Sabadell. They've moved their headquarters, their official headquarters, away from Catalonia. Look at Gas Natural, another company. I mean, the, this and other evidence about foreign investment falling away suggests that there is a real danger to Catalonia's prosperity if you continue your campaign, facts are uh, uh, saying exactly, almost exactly the contrary. That's true. Some big corporations, some big business sector, have uh, taken precautions no? and uh, have protected uh, as ever. Yeah, because they don't, as, like, as ever they don't like the uncertainty. They, uh, but they don't like the, they don't uh, like the uncertainty. Exact. But uh, it depends on, the, on how the climate of dialogue uh, is really rigid. The dialogue between uh, Spanish state and Catalan institutions, and, uh, and the economic figures. By the moment, we are growing more than Spain. We are growing much more than uh, the media of European Union uh, countries. We are. Uh, we have an, an enormous uh, trade surplus, in, um, almost the second in Europe. 
We have uh, a lot of figures that, that show that, <laughs> that it's, Minister, not, it's, not, it's not Minister, true. the very fact that Catalonia has prospered within Spain suggests to not, me that many Catalans will listen to you and think, you know what, the status quo has allowed us to be a prosperous people inside not because, the Spanish nation. Yes, I understand you, but the question is that we are not here because of an economic uh, grievance you know, or, or, a, or a sense of being fr not prosperous. This is not a revolution of necessity. There is no revolution of, um, of a de desperation. It's a, it's a kind of revolution. It's a new kind of uh, European movement, democratic movement, well, installed more in conviction in, in our uh, personality and our rights. It's not nationalistic. It's not nationalist. It's not ethnic. It's not uh, uh, just rejecting uh, to or against the Spanish people. Well, it's, a it's, final it's, point. It's, it's, a, it's a real affirmation of what uh, our right. project is. You well, are, you are a, we are a, an added value for Europe, and we know it. We are more European. Well, you keep telling me that you, you as a separate independent nation would be great for Europe. Your problem, and this is my final question, your problem as Minister of Foreign Action for the regional government is yeah. that Europe doesn't believe you. In fact, Jean-Claude Juncker, the president of the Commission, said not long ago, he said, my goodness, you know, if the Catalans ever did uh, get their independence, we'd be looking at a European Union which would consist of about 98 states. It's we a, don't want that. There is no, there is no content in the European treaties to, to, to make us out of the European Union. There is no, there is no treaty, the question, the, the issue of a, a nation in, inside a state to take the decision of separate from this state but not from the European Union. There is no provision. It would be no more than two, three, four, perhaps, cases. Scotland, uh, Flemish... Uh, well, who Catalonia. are you to say? You can't no, say they, what you might open up in terms of other separatist no, movements around Europe. You have no just, idea. No, but that's, that's why it makes sense, as it is already happening, to open a real debate in European level about the concept of internal enlargement, to say the requisites, the guarantees, the, the democratic, the democratic uh, uh, quality that would be required for a people to express their will in, in, this, in this sense. Why not? European well, to be honest, that at the moment, European given Europe, Europe's problems with Brexit, with so many, with, with what's happening in are, East we Europe, need more with nationalism Europe. We, we, and populism, frankly, I don't think your vision of a Europe considering a future of it's regions a, it's and a million, fragmentation. It's a medium long-term vision, of course. It's it, a fantasy. It, 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 no, it's not a fantasy. A, a final thought, it, it which is, comes from a very striking quote from a, a, a leading journalist in La Vanguardia, one of Catalonia's biggest newspapers, uh, Juan José López Bernal. He wrote, he wrote this, Catalonia does not have the strength for unilateral independence, but what it does have is a massive ability to destabilize the whole of Spain. That's <laughs> yes. where we are today, isn't it? No, because uh, I, I, I know him very well. Uh, this is a friend of mine, in fact. Uh, and uh, I think that his, his diagnosis is it's, it's a part of the truth, uh, because we have, we have had this ability to destabilize. We have had uh, make appear an extreme right movements, for instance. But we have also all the knowledge, the will, to accept a real debate with the Spanish state about the real conditions of our relations. We are, we are putting on the table our independence, but we are open to discuss about uh, a real alternative, a real offering from this Spanish uh, socialist government that has not uh, uh, been uh, uh, formal, it has not been expressed uh, still. But uh, why not? Instead of choosing uh, yes or not about independence, why not to choose A or B about independence or a kind of devolution max, eh? to say? Why not? It's, it's, it, this is the real dialogue that we, we could have uh, really opened it already, and, and, and that the Spanish socialist government is not able to, uh, by the moment, to, to open. Well. In terms of dialogue, we have to stop our dialogue right now. <laughs> it's but a pity, but... Dennis Maragall, I thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much.